Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the RAL running boards from Romic on this 2022 Tundra Crew Max. The tools I'll be using for this installation are a ratchet with 12 and 13 millimeter sockets, an electric impact driver, and a 12 and 13 millimeter wrench. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here we are on the driver's side underneath the truck. Uh, we're actually just behind the front tire. Uh, as you follow back on the rocker panel, you're gonna find a couple of bolts from the factory in the bottom of the rocker panel. What we're gonna do for right now is pull both of those bolts out using a 12 millimeter. All right, next in your kit, you're gonna locate your driver's side front bracket. Now, this is what that bracket is gonna look like. It's gonna fit right up into place like so. Uh, this portion of the bracket is gonna be facing towards the front of the vehicle. Uh, and also it'll be bent to where it's coming to the inside of the vehicle as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put that back up in place with the factory hardware and we're gonna snug for right now, but we're not, not gonna tighten it down just yet. Okay, now here is the lower portion of the front bracket. Now this is gonna be different from all the rest of the lower portions on the next brackets. So this part is going to be facing towards the rear of the vehicle. The foot is gonna be bent to face towards the front of the vehicle. There's also uh, four sets of holes to line up with these holes right here. So to, based on how far you want the drop to go, you're gonna line up whichever set you would like. Now they are in one inch increments. So this is our standard drop and you can go in an inch down at a time. Uh, and we've got hardware to set that together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it at the standard uh, height. Uh, so we're gonna take a serrated flange bolt go through on both of these holes. And on the back side, we're gonna use serrated flange nuts to fasten that hardware together. And we're just gonna put that on there finger tight for right now. We'll go back and tighten it up when we align the running board. All right, now as we come back along the rocker panel, we're gonna to come to another set of factory installed bolts. Uh, this is gonna be our second bracket location. Now, all three of our remaining brackets are exactly the same and they install the exact same way. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first step is to remove the factory bolts with using a 12 millimeter. Okay, this is what our first bracket is gonna look like. Uh, it's gonna come straight down. This portion is gonna be bent to face towards the front of the vehicle and also it's kind of facing towards the inside of the vehicle, uh, not facing outside the vehicle. Uh, we're gonna use the factory hardware and uh, put that in finger tight for right now. Okay, so here is the bottom bracket half for the three rear brackets. Uh, as you can see, this portion is gonna be facing towards the rear of the vehicle as well as the foot of the bracket is also gonna be facing towards the rear of the vehicle. Again, it has four locations. We wanna make sure that all of our brackets are set to the same height. So we're going to the standard drop height. So on this one, we're gonna go ahead and put our two serrated flange bolts into the bracket and then line it up to the holes on the bracket and again install the hardware onto the bolts just finger tight for this time repeat the same process on the next two brackets back Okay, now that we have all four brackets loosely assembled, we're gonna go ahead and temporarily snug them in place. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna set a level on top of here and bring it up and get it about level and just tighten up one of those bolts. We're gonna do that to all four brackets. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put the running board onto the brackets. Now I've already gone ahead and loosened up the hardware so it can slide back and forth inside the track whenever it comes to you in the uh, in the package. These are all tightened down uh, and all the bolts are next to each other. So I've loosened them up so they can slide back and forth. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and pull them the rest of the way off. And do this with all of your hardware before you line it all up with the brackets. All right, and then once all the hardware is gone, you're gonna go ahead and lift up the board, slide the 
uh, the hardware up to line up to the brackets and then slide into place. Once all of the brackets are lined up with the hardware, go ahead and reattach the hardware, get the board leveled uh, and lined up where you want it front to back, and then you can tighten up the hardware going to the running board. All right, we're gonna go ahead and snug that up with a 13 millimeter. All right, now we've got the board attached to all four of our brackets. We're gonna go ahead and come back to this hardware. We're gonna hold a 13 millimeter on one side and then tighten down with a 13 millimeter on the other side and get all four brackets tightened up. Okay, now that we've tightened down all of the lower brackets to our upper brackets, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down all of our hardware to the truck using a 12 millimeter. And repeat for the remaining brackets. We'll just repeat the exact same process on the opposite side. All the brackets are an exact mirror image of the driver's side. And that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.